Hi everyone, it's Michelle. I hope you are doing well. Thank you so much for joining me for a look at my last crazy product. And I can't believe I'm going to try this. I'm kind of scared, actually. What I'm talking about is this product from Etude House. This is called Tint My Brows Gel. So what it is, it is a liquid brow gel tint that you apply it dries and then you peel it off and it is supposed to leave your skin stained with the perfect brows. I know, gulp. I'm like, do I really want to do this? I don't know if I should try it. I've been so intrigued by the peel off makeup that I've seen recently. Um, I actually bought this at Mimibox.com, which is where I bought the masks. Um, I paid $10 for this and they have an array of colors. They have light brown, brown, I think there's a gray brown, and maybe a dark brown. But I have the light brown. I also saw on Mimibox.com they have peel-off lipstick that I was really, really intrigued with. I didn't get it. I don't know if I should get it. <laughs> I'm tempted, but, uh, but I didn't get it. I decided to try the brows. I, you know, I have good brow hairs, although I have to say they're pretty sparse. Um, I, ha I feel like I have pretty good shape to my brows, but when I was, you know, in my younger days, I totally over plucked here in the middle and I feel like my brows are too far out. Um, so I'm going to try to fill them in a little bit closer and see what it does. I'm really intrigued about this product. Um, Let's see how it goes. I'm going to totally take one for the team and try it out. Before we get started, and I don't know if it's called stalling or what, but before we get started, I want to kind of redo just a couple things about the product. Um, as I mentioned, I did get this on Mimibox.com. That's where you can find all sorts of good Korean, Japanese type products. I paid $10 for it, although I did see that this is at Amazon for $7. So it is cheaper on Amazon if you can find the right, uh, the right seller. As per the instructions, all it says is to trim your eyebrows and make sure that they're nice and clean before applying. Apply a liberal amount in the shape that you desire. Then you're supposed to let it dry at least two hours. And if you want the color stronger, you're supposed to sleep with it on. I don't know that I would go that route, but um, we are going to try. I'm actually, I was thinking of maybe peeling it off after an hour. I'm kind of scared. Um, and then it just says to, after two hours or the, the desired amount of time, go ahead and peel it off. You're not supposed to cleanse your face for 24 hours or the brow area for 24 hours. I guess that's to have the color set in your skin. But afterwards, the color is supposed to last over a week and, uh, you know, give you beautiful brows. So this may be, you know, kind of an alternative to the whole microblading fad that's happening right now. I don't know. Let's just figure it out and uh, and we'll try it out. So since I already have all of my makeup on, I have got my handy dandy makeup wipes from Kirkland's. I love these so much. And I think I'm going to take from here up off. So I'm going to scrub all of the foundation, eyeshadow. I do have some eyebrow gel already on there. Oops. Sorry, I just hit the table. I am going to just scrub all of this off. So I have moved you up close and personal just so you can get a great view as to what is going to happen. What I did, I went ahead and got one of my brow brushes and I'm just going to kind of brush them in place now that they're nice and clean. I have this product, it's in a pretty big tube, I have to say, and I'm going to open it up. <laughs> ew, ew, it's like so stringy. Oh, it's like a gel. Um, <laughs> I'm so scared. It's like a gel and it is a brush applicator. It kind of looks like a lip gloss wand. Oh my gosh, you guys, I don't know if I want to do this. Other things that we do for, for videos and for fun, right? All right, so here we go. Oh, it's so goopy. Maybe I need to like mix it up. Let me just mix it all around and 
see if that makes it better. Okay, so here we go. I am just going to paint. It smells good. I'm just going to paint my brows. Maybe this will cover up some of my lovely gray hair brows that, uh, that I've been getting lately. What's up with that? Ooh. So it's a really um, kind of a thick, sticky formula, as I mentioned. And I'm, I'm going to take it a little bit higher just to give me kind of more of an arch. God, this could be really, really good or really, really scary. And I'm just going to go back and fill in some of the sparser areas. Isn't that a good look? Clean up just a few areas that I'm not <laughs> happy with. <gasps> oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, what am I doing? Okay, let's go in with the other one. All right, so I just have my brows painted on and I'm really, really, really scared. Although I am kind of happy with the shape. So I don't know, we're going to see what this looks like. I'm pretty scared. I did this because I knew I don't have any other places to go this week. I don't have any trips planned. I don't think I have to see anybody. <laughs> but anyways, we're gonna see how this goes. I'm going to leave this on as, as it says for two hours and I'll come back and we can peel it off together. All right, everyone, it's been just a little over two hours, probably two hours and 10 minutes, something like that. I decided to come back. I actually tried to see if this would start peeling off and it definitely did. So I'm really curious to see what happens. Basically, what the instructions say is you're just supposed to peel it off and it's supposed to leave your skin and the eyebrow hairs with a tinted color. So let's go ahead and see what happens. Um, surprisingly, it's coming off. I, I didn't know how it would be with all of the hairs kind of stuck in the gel, but it's coming off in one nice chunk, which is kind of surprising. It doesn't hurt. I don't think <gasps> oh no oh no 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 it doesn't hurt it kind of feels like a band-aid oh my god oh my god you guys uh, oh can you see okay wow there we go lovely wow so it took off the gel i can't believe it it's all gone wow fancy like it's not bad It's not bad at all, actually. Let's go ahead and do this one. I just don't know how 
the gel doesn't get stuck in the hairs. I mean, you would think like if something gets like dried in your hair, that it'd be really hard to come out, but it really is pretty easy peeling it off. Can you see that? That one's kind of tight. This one's kind of stuck on the bottom. Whoa. Ugh, that one didn't come off all at once. Looks like I have a little bit left there on the bottom. Oh, look, that just came right up. Wow. All right. Oh, that one looks a little crazy in the middle, but all right, let's see if we just kind of brush these out. What we're left with. I am pleasantly surprised. My eyebrows feel completely normal. They don't feel crusty. They don't feel, uh, you know, dry in any ways. Doesn't feel like there was anything left on there. Wow. Oh my gosh. I think all I probably need now is just some clear brow gel. Let me go ahead and get that. All right. So I just came back with my Anastasia clear brow gel, which I absolutely love. And let's just brush it on and set these puppies in place. Okay. So this is the time that I'm super thankful for bangs, <laughs> right? Um, you know, actually, I'm really pleasantly surprised. I think the color matches my hair color really nicely. It does look a little bit dark and kind of dramatic right now, but I'm hoping that as it kind of goes over the next couple days, it will wear down a little bit and be not so uh, dramatic. But overall, I'm really kind of excited. And I think for those of you that don't have a whole lot of brow hair, this might be really good because it does stain your skin as well as your brow hair. So I don't know. I think it's kind of fun. I think it worked out much better than I thought it would. Thank God. And uh, I hope you had fun watching me go through the pain and agony of, uh, of trying this out. So with that, I will leave you right there. Have a great week ahead. And I hope to talk to you all soon. Leave me comments down in the bottom. Let me know what you think. Follow me on social media. Click like and of course subscribe. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.